when the script came in, the script came to my desk. It, it, it's, it was a good script, and the idea was really good. What really caught my attention was the idea of taking this premise and taking a model that had worked in the past of a two-hander um, and flipping it on its ear and putting me in the comedy role, if you will, and putting Kevin Hart, who is the world's uh, most successful comedian, on fire and putting him in the straight man's role, but just in that model. And when I say that, the, the comedy uh, cross intersects along the way. So I think it was a combination of, of a really good script and putting me in a scenario where uh, I had to stretch and, and, and work some different muscles and putting Kevin in a role where he had to stretch and work some different muscles. And then somewhere we meet in the middle. And so when you have that idea and that concept, that was really, uh, that was really appealing to me with this. We had wanted to work together uh, and do something. And this opportunity came along in Central Intelligence. And, you know, look, Kevin's a, Kevin's a bad dude, right? And just because he hasn't been in a lot of action movies, um, carrying a lot of weapons, he could still carry a weapon, fire a gun, and he's believable. He's not as believable as me. <laughs> but we're not competitive, no. Bob Stone is one of the world's most lethal individuals. He is a CIA operative. He is a man who is constantly on a mission. He is also a man who is incredibly prepared, uh, strategic, and, um, and, his, and his abilities are second to none. The other side of Bob Stone is he was unmercifully bullied throughout high school. And at 17 years old, he was pulled from the boys' locker room while he was naked and into a pep rally where everyone was in and he was thrown out in the middle of this floor in this very gym, everything exposed. And since then, his mind never quite developed past that day. So he's become incredibly lethal, smart, CIA operative, but he still has a very childlike essence to him. You know, the character of Bob Stone was a, was a big challenge, and, but it was a welcome challenge because oftentimes, you know, when you're, when you're making a movie and you're playing a character, and obviously actors can attest to this, whether they're on stage or whether they're on TV or film, is that generally it's one character. But I think it was so much fun playing this character because there was a duality that of a guy who, again, was this badass who can take you out just like that, kill you in 19 different ways. And then to the other guy who, in his brain, he still has this childlike way about him, as the stakes rise in the movie, the action rises too in the movie. And what makes that great is that you have one guy who loves action, thrives on the action in Bob Stone, and then you get another guy who absolutely hates it. He's adverse to it. He doesn't want to go. And that oftentimes makes for a great pairing in these buddy action comedy movies. But here's the difference. The coolest element about this whole thing it's not Kevin's comedy because obviously he's a genius. It's not my good looks, as I humbly say. The coolest thing about this is that my character, Bob, has a real love and affection in a hero-worshipping kind of way to Kevin's character. It was like that in high school, and it's never gone away. And I love the idea that these are two grown men who are running around trying to save the world through all these crazy <laughs> antics. But yet at the same time, my character looks at him like, man, you're just the best. I love you, man. And that's that element that you don't often find, I think, in great action comedies. That's why I enjoy our relationship so much, is that uh, is, he is an extremely competitive individual. I'm an extremely competitive individual. And you get us both together. Uh, it's a highly competitive daily race. Who's getting up first? Who's training first? Who's training longer? Who's stronger? Who's better? Who's quicker? Who's this? Who's that? And I got to tell you, when it comes to who's better at all these things, from the moment you wake up in the morning, from the time you go to bed, all the boxes check off under my name. Every single one.